In this video, I'm going to be assessing a presentation made by a MGTOW. For those of you who don't know what MGTOW is, it's an acronym for an ideology, men going their own way, which is basically a bunch of guys, they believe that women are manipulative and that feminists run society. 2015 was an amazing year for stupidity. And this idea of identifying as a transgendered lesbian has actually taken not a different form, but a different purpose. So much for going your own way. <laughs> this actually solves some of the remaining problems of living as a man in a gynocentric society. What is gynocentric about a society? <laughs> they don't get to run everything anymore. I'm not the only person who came up with this. Congratulating himself for doing something that's fucking obvious. The only people that can't see it are liberal feminists. Straight people who are scared of being accused of various forms of phobia on the liberal left. And very lazy LGBT people. The fact that this idea has occurred to different people who are unrelated to each other who are observing the same things shows that this idea has wings. It's so blatantly not random whatsoever and quite well funded this guy is. Either an egotist or a shill. When talking about how to defeat feminism, how to engage with feminists. Maybe I should be giving a few lessons to more viewers on how to deal with these guys who try to engage with you. Pretty predictable. They come up and say stuff like logic and reason. You cannot use reason and logic. You need to out-feminist the feminists. Fucking nutters. And you do this by using intersectional feminism, which apparently is being called fourth wave feminism now. I didn't even know there was a fourth wave. Intersectional feminism has actually been around since the 1980s. It was coined by an American black feminist called Kimberly Crenshaw. So it's not new and it's not fourth wave. But this is hilarious because it actually does all the work for us. We simply need to ride the wave and watch feminism murder itself. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, a woman, quote unquote, who has a XY chromosome and a penis, won the award for Woman of the Year in 2015. A bloke, so... what? But here you have two white people who pretended to be black, claim to be victims, and people went along with it. See here, you're confusing people with stupid Americans. I mean, this one chick, she was on like a bunch of talk shows talking about how she's really black even though her parents are white. Your crappy mainstream media that the rest of the world laughs at. They didn't go to a psychiatrist and get help for their racial dysphoria. They just pretended to be black and went with it, rode that gravy train all the way to the bank. Yeah, and then they got caught out and exposed and publicly ridiculed throughout the world. I mean, did they make money from that? He pretended to be a six-year-old girl and suck his thumb. Not the sort of behavior grown men should really be advocating. And this fourth wave called intersectional feminism. This wave of feminism is the mechanism whereby feminism will eat itself. Still been there since the 80s. Hasn't changed. What I'm suggesting is that we support and perhaps even become active fourth wave feminists. This is the exact reason why I don't actually think that men can be taken seriously as feminists. I've come across plates like this. They're a fucking joke. And women that take them seriously are just so excruciatingly embarrassing. Imagine if fourth wave feminism was successful and the concept of gender became completely fluid and arbitrary. Anybody can claim to be anything. That would completely undo decades of feminist laws. I hate to say it, but he's actually right about this, and liberal feminists are participating in this insanity. But that's the beauty of intersectional fourth-wave feminism. You have to kind of wonder why this bloke so fiercely objects to women having rights. Men can reassert themselves in the workplace and in society by claiming to be women. Just because you can't get a job, dude, doesn't mean that feminism is fucking you over. Have you considered the possibility that you're shit? So I'm a transgendered black lesbian Muslim woman, and if anybody says I can't because I'm not a real woman or a real person or whatever, 
I can sue them for discrimination. If this guy sues anyone, all they have to do is fucking dig out this channel and he's fucked. He is leading you MGTOWs right up the garden path. Women aren't responsible for the recession. <laughs> sort it out. Because now gender identity is a protected class. Quick memo to people in the UK, that's not the law. Nobody has the right to just self-declare themselves female and sue you. You have rights as a female. The recent report by Maria Miller does not change that. You have rights. Use them. That's checkmate. Check fucking mate. Says this guy who's blaming the recession on, um women. <laughs> what a fucking sad bastard. I'm pretty sure he's a shell. When you apply for a job and they're not interested in hiring men, just mark yourself as a woman. And then when you show up to the interview in a suit, they're going to look at you and give you that look like, um, um, we had you marked down as a woman. We're like, well, actually I am a woman. I'm a transgendered lesbian. If you actually think back to all the equal ops forms you filled in or whatever, application forms, where did that come up? Your sexual orientation? Nowhere. This is just hate mongering. And if they don't hire you, you can sue them for discrimination. Have you seen a single case where someone has successfully sued someone for not hiring them? Not the norm. I, I, I just... Mm. But my guess is they will be happy to hire you because then they could mark on their quota sheet that they hired a transgendered person while at the same time hiring a strong competent man for a position they were otherwise going to give to a slow incompetent woman. But if by competent you mean completely insane then yeah sure somebody's really gonna want to hire you. 100% of the workforce identify as women and yet they're all going to be men. Mate, you need to get a job and stop blaming women for everything that's going wrong in your life. For example, late last year, Jermaine Greer, one of the biggest feminists in the world, was disinvited from speaking to fellow feminists at university because of her views on transgender people. Because old school feminists are overtly misandric and have an openly female dominance agenda. Feminists are no platforming feminists. Have you heard yourself? The idea that these ridiculous misled students who are just doing what they're told by the NUS are in any way representative of feminism. The NUS is a neoliberal organisation. Universities are disaffiliating en masse because they're so sick of the censorship, which you condone by the way. So these fourth wave intersectional feminists are actually rallying to put pressure on the quote radical feminists of previous waves to accept non-women into feminism. I didn't even know what radical feminism was until you shitlords called me a turf and then I fucking read up on it. We're actually taking away the pedestal from actual biological women. You've entered my space. And opening the door for men to take that privilege away from them. Now I'm pissed off. Consider identifying as a transgendered lesbian. You really fucked up by messing with lesbians. And supporting fourth wave or intersectional feminism. It's ironic that you think that women are manipulating you. You're allowing this man to clearly manipulate you. Quite sad as well. Go your own way, man, but don't follow these sad bastards. They give less of a fuck about you than the women you hate. The women you hate don't give a fuck about you enough to manipulate you 